I'm going to go through communicating with the West EC44 controller via its comms lead and blue control software. Now the first thing you'll need to do is use the right comms lead supplied by West it's the red one, there are different ones okay. Uh, and you, you're going to need to plug this into the controller okay now we've been communicating via ethernet with this as well uh, which is included in a different video um, so go ahead and connect the comms lead underneath the controller here okay Plug the other end of the comms lead into a comms port on your computer. Plug in the controller and power it up. OK, what we now want to do is use the blue control software to communicate with the controller. You will want to download and install the blue control software that can be found on the West Instruments website and then open blue control. This is an evaluation version uh, you will need to enter a serial number. Here we go. Create a new project. OK. Pro EC44. You select the controller in this list here. That's the one we want. OK. Here we are. Just close this little menu here. Now, on the left here, there is an option to load data from device. Click on that. This is all set up for Ethernet because because we were communicating via Ethernet earlier today. We are using the comms socket though, configuration socket. So switch out to config, right. and this is very important here the bit rate. The bit rate for an EC44 via its comms socket. Uh, is 19,200 and this can be found in the concise manual uh, for the controller however the bit rate when trying to communicate via Ethernet is different so you will sometimes need to change the bit rate on the controller uh, okay this is all OK though, keep everything else the same. Load data from device, click on OK. If you receive this error message when trying to load or send data to the device, uh, the chances are it is because the bit rate is different. OK? <clears throat> and in this case, it is because we were communicating via Ethernet earlier today with a different bit rate. Okay. So what we will need to do is change it on the controller itself by going into the configuration menu. To get into the controller's configuration menu you will need to press the up and this arrow key at the same time. Go down, 
to configuration menu. Unlock code is 10. We want comms configuration at the bottom there. Keep going through the menu until you arrive here. Modbus data rate. This is why it wouldn't communicate uh, when I tried to just a minute ago using the comms lead. It was set at a lower bit rate or board rate um, because I was communicating via Ethernet. So go down to 19,200 for comms. Okay, and then exit by pressing the up and forward arrows at the same time. Okay, and again operation mode. So now that you have done that um, you can load data from the device again configuration socket and this is the bitrate 19200 on the controller and also in the software so it shouldn't have any trouble loading data from the device this time and there we go finished ok to check that you are connected uh, and that changes are being made I'm going to go to input 1 up here and I'm going to change some of these settings ok input type let's go for type T thermocouple send data to device this is next to the get data ok little icon there store data to, to device it says store data to device there we are ok and there we go it has sent the data ok <coughs> so now when we look in the controllers menu uh, at the input type uh, it would have changed to type T thermocouple.